Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Robert Collins, one of the brokers here at CalWest HMS. Today I'm going to talk to you about the different fees you might find in, in property management as you do your searches and, and try to narrow down your list. You know, property management companies range from mom and pa shops to major corporate giants who dominate local markets. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things to discover as you go through this process. It's a pretty daunting task trying to figure out, um, you know, what you're getting for the price you're paying. So we thought that we could offer you a few things to look for today. And so I'm going to endeavor to do that right now. Um, there's a couple of different uh, platforms you might see in, in when you're looking at companies and their fee structure. There's a, a flat fee system and, and then there's the percentage-based system. And I think of that more as a performance-based type of system. Um, so we'll talk first about flat fees. Um, a flat fee management fee is basically um, you've agreed to pay a certain amount every month uh, flat fee for whatever services the company is providing. And that, that fee is paid no matter what happens with your property. If the property sits vacant for six months, you need to be aware that that fee is still being charged to you. And vice versa, if that property is rented quickly, you get the advantage of that flat fee and you don't pay anything extra right for it. Um, another thing to point out that's probably a disadvantage about the flat fee system is that um, even if the property manager is performing, um, but the tenant decides not to pay their rent, they're still getting paid. And so while it's a great advantage knowing exactly what you're going to pay every month, there are moments where you feel like, gosh, is this company even motivated to keep my property rented? So um, that's one, one fee system. Keep in mind in the flat fee system, they can still charge other fees. Leasing fees, markups, and coordination fees are all still out there, uh, and many companies charge them. Then there's the, the percentage-based program, and, and that system um, I like to think of, like I said, as a performance-based product. If uh, the property manager doesn't rent your property out, he's not getting paid. And if that tenant decides not to pay their rent, he's not getting paid. Property management fees in this per percentage-based uh, system uh, range anywhere between 5 and 10%. You're going to see uh, companies that do the low end of that and may not provide all the services uh, that a full-service property manager would provide. At 10%, well, maybe they're just really a big company and, and probably don't need the business as badly and don't need to compete. Um, so somewhere in the middle is a little more common, but, but they range. Um, other fees include leasing fees. Now, a leasing fee is a fee that is charged when the, uh, the property is vacant and they rent it out. That's the most intensive part of the job for a property manager. They have to go in there, uh, market the property, show the property, qualify applicants, and then move these tenants in. Sometimes there's advertising costs involved. So leasing fees can range from a flat fee to 10% uh, of one month's rent to 100% of one month's rent. Think about it this way. If your rent's $2,000 and you have a 10% leasing fee, well, that's $200. If you have a 100% leasing fee, well, that's $2,000. Somewhere in the middle is probably more common. But um, there's coordination fees and setup fees. Now, a setup fee is a fee that companies charge to create your property in their uh, database uh, create the financials and get it ready to go. That's how they justify that fee. Uh, there's a, a coordination fee or a markup that is a fee that is typically uh, added to maintenance. Some companies charge the markup because they're general contractors. Some companies charge the markup because it's just another revenue source for them. Uh, there is a ton of work that goes into coordinating work, especially these big projects, the renovations and things like that. Some companies only charge these markups or coordination fees for uh, jobs that are more than $1,500, right? So there are a lot of different ways they get those fees. Whatever you do, keep in mind that a property management company is not uh, simply about the fees. You're not just choosing between one company or another based on price. Um, you know, you want a company that's full service, you want to go to their office, you want to see what they offer, see how their company works, see if they're organized and structured, see if they're honest with their clients. Get to know these property managers before you hire them. Don't just base your decision on price. I think that's a bad choice. I mean, this is an expensive asset. Uh, it's probably the most expensive uh, piece of uh, real estate. Uh, here in the Bay Area because of the, the price that we pay for it. Uh, but not only that, this is a retirement vehicle for you. And so we wouldn't want to handle that like it's something frivolous, right? We want to take good care of it. Hire somebody who knows the laws, keeps educated. Um, and at the end of the day, I think you'll be, uh, you'll be better off than just choosing someone based on price.
Well, I hope this information was helpful for you today. Um, you're welcome to give us a call. We're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5. We can answer additional questions for you. We hope to see you there.